Hi guys, I am here today to go over what I'm going to be calling my ideas journal, I guess. Um, it is mostly going to be for my like crafting ideas and my video ideas, like just things that I want to make. I keep writing this stuff down on my phone and then I just don't really look at it that much. It's not something that I can see all the time unless I open it on my phone but I want to f be able to physically hold something and see something pretty and um see all of those ideas and be able to like you know mark them off and say that I accomplished them or I did them or or whatever if it's a video that I recorded that video um this paper right here has all of my craft ideas and probably all video ideas like videos and craft ideas and th this little list right here is all of my current journals that I have that I'm like working on and I have a bunch of sticker books right here and I have this um, this is a happy planner notebook and I have all kinds of different happy planner types of pages and I put samples of each of them in here so first I just want to go over those and then like maybe my thoughts on those particular pages and how I may use them if I might use them um but let's just get into it um this this is a, a disc bound notebook and it has the uh the mini discs on it and originally this had or this has normally um this lined paper with these hearts on it, front and back, which obviously is perfect for the journal that I'm wanting to make. But I also have lots of other pages, types of pages that may come in handy, as well as these envelopes. Um, I don't exactly know what or if I will use them, but I have them at least. So I have this tall skinny one and I have this little bit shorter and fatter one. Sorry, I had to pause for a second. I don't remember where I was, but um, yeah, I have these envelopes that I could use for something. I have this note paper with these pretty flowers on the top and on the back. I have this like daily list area and a nice list next to it. And then the back of that is just dot grid and then I have this goals for the week, um, you know, with weekly goals and then whatever, something I could write down here. I don't have to use it for specifically goals. It can be for whatever I want, but they're just different ways to break it up, basically. And then the back is just another um, note side with uh, the graph paper. Here is like a today layout with, you know, check it off, important, all that kind of stuff. And again, the back is just um, dot grid. I have a weekly expenses, but of course, again, it doesn't have to be weekly expenses. I can cover that up. I can cover all of these things up and write anything on them and just write or use stickers or whatever. And the back of this is actually just white, plain. Um, this is another this week, but this one's not listed though, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is just stuff for the week with another area to write over here and the back of this is also just plain white and then I already showed you this this is what came with the journal this lined notebook paper and then I have like a daily this is um happy planners daily planner sheet basically I have a whole daily planner that I don't know that I'm actually going to use but I have the pages from it if I want to focus on like you know, one thing for one day or something like that. And the back is just yeah, the same thing, but another day. I also have this, um, this whole graph paper. It's a graph on the front and the back. And then those are all my full size pages. And then I have a couple half size pages. So I have this one and then on the back, it's just a dot grid. I have this today page and the back again is dot grid and then I have this happy notes sheet and on the back is the checkers 
or the graph. And then I have this folder. So the front and the back are pockets, so I can put stuff in there. So those are all of the different kinds of papers that I have to use. And this is a page I took out. Um, this is not how I want the journal to be. This is what I took off of my phone. So I, I want to make like pretty pages in here with these ideas on them, which is why I brought out a bunch of sticker books. So that way I can use up a bunch of stickers as well as have a like a nice way of displaying my ideas and um yeah I just I think having an ideas journal will give me less overwhelm maybe in the things that I want to do and get done and um, a lot of these are like recurring things that I can make multiple videos of because it's like say one type of journal I can do multiple pages in that journal for a video so first off I just want to take one sheet put a bunch of box stickers on it and then decorate it I'm not gonna write any of my stuff in them yet because I, I have it all down at least and um, I want a, a page decorated with all of my journal types on it as well so that way I have a list of those So the first sticker book that I wanted to use was this Pressed Florals sticker book. And this page is going to be um, one of my several video pages. And this will probably just be like one-off videos where I just, you know, make one video of that thing because it's only, you know, it's only like one, one way to make it or whatever. So um, I need a bunch of box stickers. I'll probably put like 10 or 15 on a page. But I know this book has a bunch of, there we go. So this book has a bunch of different sized boxes and I think it will be perfect for this. So up here, I'm gonna leave blank to use some letter stickers and write a title like one-off videos or one-time videos or something like that and I, they don't need to be perfect I don't want them to be perfect actually maybe like a pattern of sorts but they don't need to be all like straight or you know, all the same um, size or length. Uh, whoops, well, I guess that's going there. Um, put this one right there. Is that, nope, not all. And then around the boxes, I can put other stickers to decorate it. Um, I want another tall, skinny. I think those are, yeah, those are the only, like, um, hold on. I want to use blue, I want to, yeah, so, I'm just going to put this one on the edge of the table here so I use it next time around, then I'm going to go back to the pink, and...
Um, let's see. I can use this one. And now this one will be the lighter yellow. And then the lighter purple. And the lighter green. And I think blue's next. Yeah, blue's next. So we'll just go like that. And then down here, I'm going to put some like bigger boxes. Not super big, but bigger than these, just in case I have ideas that are a little bit longer so pink and I don't think yeah I think I'm gonna use yellow instead might not be able to fit um, four on there which is totally fine but I do want to use one of these darker blue stickers since I don't, didn't use any yet all right there we go how many is that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay I said 10 to 15 and I got 12. So now let's focus on um, decorating it. Believe you can and you're halfway there. Does this cover this up? Sure does. In a field of roses, she's a wildflower. I'm gonna put that on the other corner. I am going to actually take this out. There we go. Do I want to put one of these right here? I think it'll fit. Yeah, let's put this one. Embrace your own pace. There we go. Let's see, do I need any of these words? I don't think so. Meeting, grocery list, appointment, stuff like that. No. Um, I don't want to use any of these. Here we go. Here's a bunch of flowers. Um, I like. Actually, there's no... That blue just... It would be too much in this spread, I think. It's just... It's too dark. So are those greens. Okay, here we go. There's a pretty flower and another, um, where do I want to put it? Another pretty flower. I don't want any of those. Here's some smaller ones. I like this one. 
We'll put this right here. And perhaps a purple one. Let's do. Um, yeah, we will do this one. Put that right there. Oh, those are pretty. But again, I don't think the colors are right. I don't want that much gold. Love this purple. Um. I can put one of these right here. Put some leaves right there. Ooh, pretty. Put this one right here. Um. I need some more green, I think. These quotes are way too big for this spread. Oops. Yeah. Um Let's see what other kind of green is there. If any. There might not be besides these. I don't really want to use the gold, or like the, not gold, but foil, whatever you want to call this. But I'm going to put it right here, I guess. That'll be all right. And... Gonna put a little bit more gold since I did use gold foil right there. I will put this right there. And I think I have to find a spot for this little purple foil. And I think I see a spot if I can just get it off. Put it right there. And there are some like smaller stickers on here um so i'll probably fill up just a little more um right here needs a sticker let's put this little yellow there is a lot of yellow on here but that is all right um and i I think I'm going to put this blue sticker right there. And I think that's good. I like that. Um, I brought out, actually hold on, the back of this did have some words on it. I wonder if some of them are, if any of them are small enough to just put in little spots. Um, I think live today is small enough. We can put that right there. get it done. We can put that somewhere. Like right here. And then let's put a purple word somewhere. Uh, press on. That's a good flower word. Where can we put this? Somewhere in this area. I might just put it right above this other quote. There we go. Okay. Now we're done except for whatever title I choose to write on there so that is 
Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, I miscounted the first time. This is 15, which is absolutely perfect. That's what I wanted. So I can write in 15 of these ideas on here. I have a lot of them, as you can see. But yeah, this is a super cool first page and I'm very happy with it. And then just put it back in the journal. And just like that, the first page is done. So let me know if you guys like this video and this kind of video, if you want to see me make more of these spreads, if you want to see me write in any of them, um, I probably will do at least one more video of it just because it's fun to decorate things like this. Um, and maybe one where I write in everything if you want to see the writing. Um, but yeah, let me know. Um, I had a lot of fun with this page in the back. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just pick, um, but I'm gonna pick a different sticker book. And um, yeah, go from there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see more like this in my ideas journal. Um, I can even have a page for suggestions, things that you might want to see me do, or anything, anything really. I have a ton of pages in here and a ton more pages that aren't in here. So the possibilities are endless. Just leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.